So welcome to um, welcome to Malang, a little town uh, sitting on Lake Alexa Alexandrina. Alexandrina, I think. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I've been here before. Uh, photographed this little jetty that you can see in front of you um, once or twice before. Uh, a, a couple of my most favourite shots actually from South Australia was this jetty, so I'll throw one up. And let you... hardest thing here is getting focus so I've had to just have to use my uh, phone light to get some sort of focus um, I'm just going to throw this uh, into manual I'll pump that up to a um, bit of guesswork here I'm probably going to throw it up to about uh, two minutes exposure. So we'll do that and I'm stepping away very quick, gingerly, um, because I don't want to shake that jetty at all. Oh, I've been bitten already. Um, it's not pleasant. Uh, mosquitoes are little swines and uh, they tend to really enjoy chomping uh, down on me. Just just completed a two minute exposure, so I'm just going to give that a check and see how we've gone. Okay, nice, very nice. to throw the uh, filters on just um, because of that difference between the very dark foreground and the uh, the light and the blue this is such a blue sky but the light that's coming underneath the uh, cloud itself is quite nice it's a it's like an orangey red glow so I'll just throw a oh bitten Bitten, 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 over and over again. Now I'm not sure whether to use a, I'm gonna throw a soft grad on for the time being, um, but I'll, I'll just have to bear in mind um, that light band on the, uh, on the horizon, just in case I'll need to uh, put on a, uh, a reverse grad. Let me just check that. Oh, itchy head. Itchy, very itchy head. Already. So let's just put that in. It's a two minute exposure. I'm just gonna throw that into. Yeah, that cloud's nice. Come on. We'll do another two minute and I'll move quickly back. There we go. Well, you can see that I've stepped off this jetty. Um, it's a little bit bouncy, a bit rickety. Um, so I'm just making sure that if I get the opportunity to step well back, I do that because uh, I don't want to move around on the jetty and actually cause vibration uh, on that and, and ruin each of the shots. Uh, to, as you can see, as you can see, I can't stop moving my hands. I'm trying to take these mosquitoes off my head. I forgot to spray. Um, and I think the uh, mosquitoes are taking advantage of a free meal. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can feel 
lumps and welts and God knows what all over my head already. Um, so, whoop, there comes another one. Uh, I'm probably going to look like the Michelin Man at the end of the day. That looks quite nice. I'm just going to check and make sure that we're fully in focus. And we are. I am going to step back to where you are now. I just wanted to get that light before it went, um, capturing uh, the front front end of this jetty while we had the opportunity and I'm quite pleased with those images and take this wider shot um, including the no diving sign and uh, keeping an eye on that light it seems to be um, less orange now and more yellow um, so we'll keep an eye it looks like there is some cloud way way out sort of diffusing the light it's not a clear line of sight so um, I'm not hopeful that the sun will break through when it rises and light the underside of these clouds, but these clouds are very impressive. They, you can see that they go from um, the horizon right the way across. Right. Mm, I don't like that sign encroaching on the end that's better that's better okay i'm gonna pull it down to i did say 30 seconds i think it's more like 20 so 25 seconds and we'll give that a go yeah um at least we with that one there's a couple of patches of very bright water out there i think 25 seconds um f20 and that should that should calm that that light it, it doesn't look like there's a huge uh, difference in dynamic range but the, there is because of this very bright um, sky above very dark clouds and then the the bright sky is is reflecting um, direct onto this water so that's causing a few problems perfectly exposed so we've got that down F22 it was 25 seconds. Before, before I move down and take that, I really need to throw him a little stone because he's been very good. Even if I miss the shot of the century, at least I know I'm looking after him and he's having a good time as well as I am. So, look this stone, look this stone. Go, go get it. I'll take a couple with me. Just found a larger one. Okay, right, it's... That light is very nice. Right, okay, let's uh, let's move on. Oh, it's mucky here. I'm just going to drop it down to 15 seconds. Come on, get your stone, get your stone, quick, quick, quick. Look, here's another stone. Come on. Oh, you won't get that. That's in the water. Leave. Good boy. Oh, how beautiful is this now? Now, last time I was here, the rising sun, uh, I could actually use rising over one of these posts. Um, unfortunately, we're unable to do that today. It's got to come all the way down. Now six and a half seconds. All 
all in all, I think, well, I hope you agree. Uh, it's a wonderful little jetty, this one. Um, and even, even the, uh, the bird poo that's absolutely everywhere and caked everywhere um, adds to the image. Uh, again, so thank you for joining us here at Malang. Um, had a wonderful morning. It seems to have flown this morning uh, with the bank. There's, there's no way that I can actually photograph it from either side. Um, the only way to photograph this particular jetty really, do it justice is straight down it, um, which is wonderful. Um, it's, it's, it's a, as I said, it's a beautiful dog leg. You take it from the far end, from furthest away, and it just sort of dwindles into infinity. And then the closer you get, you can really exaggerate those uh, posts and the little dog leg uh, this lake it never fails um to deliver uh for me so far every time i've been here i've had a, a marvelous time so i hope you do too wherever you are uh please stay safe and see ya